Hi, welcome to Aliquippa Elementary School Batiks. Our students have created batiks from start to finish and they are going to this share with that with you. This is the pot that we burn the wax in and this is the wax when it's cold. So right now we're going to plug in the, the cord here. And Tape this down so that no one gets I'll tape it down better than that. And now we're gonna turn it up to about 325 and we'll let that heat up. And in a few minutes it'll be ready to be used. So I'm just ripping the fabric, getting ready for the batik. You can see over here at the melting pot, just an electric skillet that we put some beeswax and paraffin in. We have it at about 325, which seems to do really well with the temperature. It doesn't smoke at that temperature. And we are going to get ready to um, do our batik. Okay, so this part is, we have to, these brushes have wax on them and the wax is cold. So when the wax gets cold, it's hard. So what you need to do is you need to put the brush in the hot, hot wax and you need to just heat it up and then the the wax actually goes into the bristles and then without dripping just bring it over and then as it goes through the fabric you'll see that the fabric gets a little darker and that's how you know that it's going all the way through the fabric if it's just like white then, like this, watch, I'll show you, like, like that. Then you know it didn't go all the way through. It has to be um, dark so that you know it went straight through the fabric. Okay, so I'll let you get in there and you can get started on that. Go ahead and sit down. And you want to keep it hot, but don't touch the rim of the uh, container. You have to move it quickly before, and then dip again, dip again now and then keep dipping. All right. Now we're further along with our waxing. The kids are just finishing up their fabric and then we're going to be um, ready to dye the batiks very shortly. So we took our wax and we crinkled into a ball to make a crackle. And now, Alexia, if you just want to help me undo, undo that. Like a pretty nice crack over there. Okay. All right, now we put our plastic down and we're going to get ready to choose our colors. Okay, so next Alexia is going to put on our yellow. Just applying the dye to the waxed fabric. And she's going to use just turquoise, yellow, green. She's also going to saturate all the cracks in the outside. Okay, so we are almost finished with um, applying the dye, and then 
we will let it dry and I'm going to spray it with some fixative uh, soda ash fixative Okay, so now we're going to spray with the workable fixative. We're just going to do like a nice even coat. Pick it up in the bottle. You don't really want to get this. I don't like to get this on my skin. And just make sure you coat it nice and good, and that should be good. Okay, and now we're going to let it set overnight. Okay, so next, Alessia is going to rinse the fabric. It's just going to take out the, all the extra excess dye and the soda ash fixative. She's going to rinse it out. Two that are drying and one that is still being dyed. Two that were rinsed and none of them have been ironed yet. All right, so Krajir is ironing off the wax. Good job, Krajir. Maya is ironing the wax off. Here is a finished batik, sixth grade. Here is a, a Dinkran symbol chart and as you can see this design over here was created by a 6th grade student, Isaiah, and I believe that he was using the symbol uh, Dervon paddle, but it could have been also, that he looked at the symbol for number 20, perpetual existence. This is going to be an enrichment project that we're working on where each student chooses a symbol and then we'll create a mural using the um, Adinkran symbols. Um, and then putting them together to create one large piece. The symbolism of the dragonfly. The students and I created these batiks together of the dragonfly. And in the Native American culture, the dragonfly spiritually embodies the stripping away of negativity that holds us back, helps us to achieve our dreams and goals. Dragonflies are the keepers of dreams, the energy within that sees all of our true potential and ability. Dragonflies inspire spirituality and creativity, and they help us on the path of discovery and enlightenment. They remind us that anything is possible.